Welcome to Bed Crime Stories Podcast. I'm your host, T. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Let me jump right in. Oh, but before I do that, let me just say thank you, thank you, thank you. I hit 30,000 subscribers yesterday and it felt like a huge achievement and I couldn't have done it without all of you. I am so grateful. Thank you. Kaylee Gonsalves's heartbroken parents, Christy and Steve, are saying that they believe the perpetrator of the crime that left Kaylee and her three friends dead in November of 2022 came with a kill kit. Kaylee's dad, Steve, said this about his beloved daughter. There's evidence to show that she awakened and tried to get out of that situation, but she was assaulted and stabbed. End quote. Wanting clarity about the part where he said Kaylee was assaulted, I contacted Mr. Gonsalves. I wanted to make sure that his use of the term assaulted was clarified, so I asked him if he meant to imply that Kaylee was essayed. Here is his response verbatim to my query. I want to emphasize that there was no sexual aspect involved, but she endured an assault. I can't provide all the details due to the need to gauge people's honesty accurately. I shared with others that the impact on Kay and Maddie differed significantly. We disclosed the assault because almost a year has elapsed, yet very few have clarified what transpired in that room. It functions as our means of confirming the truth, and only two individuals in the past 10 months provided substantial details affirming their awareness of our shared knowledge. Feel free to share what I've conveyed here with you. I understand the challenge of being vague in TV interviews. One mistake could end my ability to speak publicly. I've been cautioned about this repeatedly especially during live interviews. 48 hours is one of the few exceptions. Take care, T, and thank you for dispelling falsehoods and guiding people back to the truth, end quote. So there you have it. Kaylee was not essayed. Let's make sure that the Gonsalves' words do not get twisted or overly speculated upon. I believe, as the Gonsalves' do, that truth, in this case, is what matters most. Steve and Christy have also said that they believe Kaylee was trapped by the suspect and the layout of Maddie Mogan's bedroom. Steve and Christy said it's likely Maddie was the perpetrator's first victim, and when the assailant turned on Kaylee, she was stuck between Maddie's body and the wall. Here's how Christie explained it, quote, the bed was up against the wall, the headboard was touching the wall, and the left side of the bed was touching the wall, and we believe that Maddie was on the outside and Kaylee was on the inside. The way the bed was set up, Kaylee was trapped. The killer may have been surprised to find the two friends in the same bed. I do think that his plan went awry. I do think that, you know, he intended to kill one and killed four, end quote. Steve Gonsalves added, quote, he had to know when people were coming, people going, end quote. And we know from the affidavit for probable cause that phone records revealed that Koberger made several trips to the neighborhood near the house in the months before the crime. Steve Gonsalves also said, I think he had at least opened that door at the house, went in, tested the waters, and looked around. The Gonsalveses also claim that Brian Koberger was indeed following Kaylee and Maddie on Instagram, they hired their own private investigator, and Christie alleges, quote, from our investigation of the account, it appeared to be the real Brian Koberger account, end quote. Of course, Koberger's defense team is trying to shoot down claims that Koberger knew the victims. The Gonsalveses are convinced that Brian Koberger is the perpetrator and thus is guilty of this crime. They are vowing to be in that courtroom and Christy said he's going to feel all of us just staring at the back of his head and he knows what he did to our daughter, end quote. 
That's all for now. See you next time on Bed Crime Stories.